Hi friends, this is Arvijan here. Welcome to my networking channel. Hope all are doing good and safe. And today let us discuss how to troubleshoot AI GRP routing issue. So this is an architecture where I connect R1 and R2. Both are connected means of serial interfaces. So R1 I have connected IP address 192.168.1.1 and 1.2. These are the interface IP address. So both should reside in the same subnet, right? And to R1 I connected two different hosts. So this host IP address 10.2 and 20.2. Both are in different subnet. And PC3 and PC4 both are in the different subnet. So I have Establish the neighbor relationship using EHRP. So for some reason from PC1, I am not able to ping PC3. So now let us go to the individual router and let us debug the routing issues. So let us go to first R1 and let us check the directly connected interfaces. Show IP interfaces brief. We'll show the directly connected interfaces. So this is a serial interface 192 1.1 and 10.1 is for PC1 host gateway, right? PC1 gateway and for 20.1 is for PC2 gateway. This is our PC2 gateway. Similarly, let us go to R2 and check the directly connected interfaces. Show IP interface brief. So these are the directly connected interface. All the interfaces are up, right? It is 1.2. This is a faster than 1 by 0. And 40.2 and 30.2 is a PC3 and PC4. And the corresponding gateways we have configured here. 3 by 0 and 3 by 1. So now from PC1, I am not able to ping PC3. Now we have to identify the issue. So this PC1, show IP, right? So PC1, I am not able to ping the PC2 host IP address. So we are able to see, right? It is showing destination host unreachable. So now let us check whether it is a routing issue. So how to check? Go to R1 and let us check the routing issue. Show IP route. So you are able to see all the subnets advertised. It is getting advertised all the subnets. 192.168.1.0. These are directly connected interfaces. And it is showing uh, network like 10, 20 and 40. But the 30 network is missing, right? So there are four networks, right? There were all are different networks. One is 10, 20, 30 and 40. So but only we are seeing 10, 20 and 40. The 30 network is missing. So we need to check whether we are configured in an access list. So here there is no access list or we can check the any prefix list is configured. So prefix list is equal to access list which is used for filtering the routes or the network. So now let us check from R2 end whether we have configured any access list. Show IP access list. So let us check show IP prefix list. So that is similar to access C. So there is a C we are able to see the, it is blocking the network. We are denying 172.16.30.0. So that is the reason I am not able to ping from PC1 to PC3, PC3 host IP address because we are blocking this 30 dot, uh, 30 dot network through the prefix list, right? So this is the thing we are able to see here, right? It is denying 30.0 network. So the entire network and but it is permitting all of the network. That's the reason I am able to, I am not able to ping, right? 30.2 I am not able to ping but I am able to ping the other host. Let us check the other host. The other host is 40.2. So I am able to ping the other host IP address only. From PC1 I am not able to ping the PC3 because of this prefix list which is denying the entire subnet. Right? This is a prefix list which is denying the entire subnet. So how to configure this I will show you. Go to show running configuration. So I configured the prefix list IP prefix list followed by the prefix list name and this is sequence number and it is denying the subnet 30.0 and the remaining network it is allowing that is the prefix list and this prefix list I am just allowing in the distribute list right? so you are able to see router EHRP since I configured the router EHRP what happened it is blocking the 30th that is blocking the 30 network right. So distribute list followed by the prefix list name that is filter 1 out is nothing but outbound and the inbound traffic. So that is the main reason it is denying the 1.16.30.0 network. So now what we can do just we can go ahead and remove the network. Go to the configuration mode and go to router EAGRP 100 and let us now remove it. Remove the distribute list. So now let us check the individual configuration. Now let us check the show IP route. See now we are able to see the network because I removed from the EHRP router configuration because I have mapped that 
prefix list to the distribute list. So distribute list is nothing but a sequence of access or a prefix list. So if you have a sequence of access list, I can configure the distribute list or I can also configure the prefix list mapped in the distribute list configuration, right? So that is used for blocking a specific network or the specific route. So that is the reason now I'm able to see all the routes advertised from R2, right? So we are able to see all the subnets 10, 20, 30 and the 40. So now let us ping from PC1 to PC3. So I'm able to ping 40.2 that is a remote PC4 and let us ping PC3 IP address that is 30.2. I'm able to ping now. So this is how we have to troubleshoot the configuration. Sometimes the access list or the prefix list configured either in R1 or R2 can block the entire subnet. So this is how we can go ahead and troubleshoot the EAGRP routing issue. I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching me. Please subscribe me for more videos. Thank you and have a wonderful day.